And welcome back, everybody, to Llamascapes. We are starting this week off by claiming our magical dice from May because I am straight out of cash. So let's just roll these and see what we get. And eh, nothing all that great, but hey, you know, 500k is pretty nice. Okay, and there is the Natural History Museum uh, quiz done. Yeah, Tin Slayer and Nine Hunter. Uh, I did that primarily because, um, oh, that's nice. 500 total level because I did my uh, my nice little woodcutting, firing, and fletching grind. Uh, I did that primarily because a higher Slayer level means that you get more from the Scarabs uh, in Minifos when they spawn. Uh, and there are some, you know, quest requirements that, that need those things. All right, another quest down. First one of the new week, I think. Murder mystery done. There's some crafting XP. And there is Plague City done. Uh, nice chunk of mining XP. Just knocking quests out real quick. And there's a biohazard complete. Uh, not much of a reward, but I thought it was worth getting out of the way. And there is the end of Sea Slug. A giant chunk of fishing XP. Feels very good, man. Well, I severely underestimated how long it takes to get, like, level 1 to 10 smithing with the, the new skill. But, uh, yeah, oh, smithing lamp. <laughs> I was wondering where the XP came in. Yeah, there we go. Uh, well, there's, there's level 30 done now. And not doing all that much. I've been taking a few hours away. Uh, but I did go out and just get a new microphone. So I may be a little loud in this clip. I'm going to have to play around with that. But hopefully going to make things... A little bit easier for my sake when it comes to editing it's an elgato wave three the good good uh, a lot better than my old blue snowball hopefully uh hopefully you know clearer crisper sound on your end and and it has this feature it calls like a clip saver that helps if i get it really loud or something that it doesn't get all jarbled and 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 uh yeah and it helps save the audio uh, but yeah, ho hopefully this sounds a little bit better. Uh, and hey, Weekly Reset is about to roll over. That's really why I made this clip. I'm about to go try out Herbie Werby for the first time. And those are some big boys. I I cannot wait to experience Big Game Hunter because that's, that's, that's a big boy. Oh, man. And there's another quest done. Observatory quest. Crafting XP lamp. Ba-bam. And there is the Taurus Trap complete. Going to use both of these rewards on agility. And yeah, that's a 600 total level. Another milestone. Yet another quest done. The Grand Tree for some big agility XP. A little bit of magic. Uh, but most importantly, let me just double check. Oh, uh, I actually say to put this on magic. All right, let, let's do it then. 41 mage it is. And uh, agility. Also huge. There we go. Another quest down. What's mine is yours. For a little bit of mining and smithing. And unlocking those tasks for later on. And there's another one down. Nature Spirit complete. And there's Scorpion Catcher done. For a good chunk of strength XP. Oh, I went and checked. And last time around when I did this sort of series. It took, uh, you know... Day one was absolutely nuts. Uh, it, I think it took like everything out of me. I'm pretty sure I did like an almost 24 hour stream. I was like 650 total or something. So like the point that I'm at right now. So yeah, probably probably about a 24 hour stream right off the uh, right out the gate. Um, however, by the end of the week, I was only about 1240, uh, and that's something that I'm hoping to beat this time around. Actually, I I don't know if I can do it. But, but that's my current goal. 1250 by the end of week one. Let's get it. Another quest down. Jungle potion. There's Shiloh Village complete. Uh, yeah, another good chunk of crafting XP. And there's the completion of Elemental Workshop 1. Gonna try to knock out 2 and 3 right after it. Oh boy. Another one down. Lost City. Decided to take a little detour because I realized I could knock out Lost City. And then Fairy Tale Part 1, or at least see if I can. And that would let me unlock Player on Farms just a little bit faster. So I'm going to take care of that. Alright, so 
I found out my list is Nature Talisman, Avento Herb, and Ear Leaf. That's probably one of the toughest possible combinations. I want to see if there's an easier way to get the Nature Talisman these days. It's probably still just the Abyss, and I don't know how I can handle that with like T30, T40. So we'll see. I might just have to wait till a little bit later to complete this, though. Well, there's the Enter the Abyss mini quest done. Uh, time to just just give it a shot. See what happens, right? All right, so I went and hung out in Minifos for a little bit, did some soul obelisks, hopped around for scarabs, got 15 slayers. So now I can do some banshees, get the herbs that I need, hopefully be able to clean them either myself or take them to, um, I think his name is Zahur in, uh, in Narda. Uh, and as for the nature tally, yeah, I mean, I can slowly get it through the abyss. Um, I may just burn through a few more quests, though, to get my uh, my stats up a little bit more. Speci specifically defense, but also magic. Oh, that's kind of wild. I just ran into a penguin called Agent 002. And, um, yeah, I think I remember reading about them. Uh, but they give uh, clue caskets. So I got a, I got a small casket and you compo some chaos runes. Did small XP star? I don't know if that's if that's normal, but uh, I'll take the herblore, sure. All right, it only took about 90 banshees. Got my Avento, my Irid, both cleaned by Zahur. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to buy some food here and see. Uh, yeah, maybe see how the Abyss goes. Um, actually, I think I'll go uh, finish up uh, some elemental workshops first, because you do get a good chunk of defense XP from the third one. All right, just went through the archaeology tutorial, or I guess I'm still in it. Um, someone pointed out that it would be a good idea to to maybe go ahead and do this just so I get a 500 life bonus. Um, so yeah, I got 500 more HP. Thought it might help for the uh, the little bit of a bis grind that I'm going to try to knock out. And with that, there is the end of Elemental Workshop 2. Boom, large chunk of crafting XP. Don't even ask. Yes, I just stood there for like 15 minutes with Rapid Restore on. But we made the body body. Alright, quest done. Yeah, and give me the book for defense, defense, and smithing, smithing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice chunk of XP. And there's Demon Slayer done. Uh... Got combat XP lamps, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to put this into. Uh, ranged. All right. Yeah, that's going to make a huge difference in the range grind, right? Oh, and there's the completion of the golem. Uh, going to do this back to back with Shadow of the Storm. Yeah, that was a very tough fight, as usual. But uh, there we go. We, we got it done. Um, ranged. Of course, boom, Shadow of the Storm done. Creature of Think and Strain complete. And there's a Soul's Bane complete. Uh, didn't end up getting the level at the end of the quest like I was planning to, but I got 700 total uh, from a random HP level during the quest. <laughs> Another one down. That's the new and improved Dig Site quest. Uh, I kind of like how they integrated it into the... I think this is the archaeology guild now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's interesting how they shifted everything around to make it work still. And there's another quest down. That's what, four for today already? Nice. Uh, Mountain Daughter done for a prayer level. So I gave the Abyss my best shot. Spent like 20, 30 minutes working at it. Was not really getting anywhere. I mean, I could get maybe five to ten mobs killed every uh, every trip. Um, but considering it's like a, a 1 in 128 or something for the Nature Talisman, I think I'm just going to avoid that for the time being and get my farming XP a different way. That is one, through this quest, uh, and then two, from, uh, from a shovel, if you know, if you know what I'm referring to, uh, about to go spend 20, 30 minutes shoveling just to get level 17, get POF unlocked, because that's, it's really important that I get that done. Yeah, hey, this wasn't actually so bad. It gave me some time to clean off and reorganize my desk a little bit. Hey, you know, I, I totally didn't forget that, uh, that this also requires 20 construction or anything. No, uh, not, not at all. Not having to revamp a big part of my guide. 
but you know, at least I get beehives, and these are these are pretty decent XP. Yeah, you know, 20 construction isn't that bad. That took like 15 minutes. No sweat. Another quest down, Heart Seeker, and then speak to Kaylin after to get the XP reward. Bam. Another quest down, Witch's House. All right, Gertrude, thank you for the kitten. And there's In Search of the Myrek done. You know, it's it's interesting that a lot of these rewards are given in lamps now. I think in the past they weren't. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but I feel like that one was normally just a, a pop as well as a few of the others. There we go. Shades of Morton done. And I permanently cured both of the uh, the fellows around here. Uh, mostly because I got, uh, I've gotten really uh, frustrated in the past whenever uh, they would, you know, get afflicted again while I was in the middle of shopping. <laughs> uh, but I, I imagine I'll have to come back here at some point to uh, actually progress through the minigame and not just use it for five seconds. So I just made this, this agreement with my fiance that if and when I get to 10k subs, there will be official merch. My first piece of merchandise will be plushies. Yes! The llama, llama plushies, okay? But... I can't do this on my own. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta share me or something. And I kind of want a plushie for myself. So you have a mission. You know what it is. I'm sure you can do it. Do it. Another quest down the giant dwarf for a ton of different uh, sources of XP. Very nice. Another quest done the lost tribe. Really making decent progress today. Another quest down for a giant chunk of Slayer XP. I, I could have waited, to be honest, on all those scarabs, because, yeah, I mean, they're going to be a lot better now. And there's Fishing Contest for another quick quest point. And there's Gunner's Ground done, which Antique Lamp goes into runecrafting here. Yeah, that's just what I decided to mark. Kind of odd. To be fair, what difference is 200 XP going to make in any other skill? And there's part one of RFD complete. Uh, now this is nice, right? Because this unlocks the bank chest down here. Not quite. And another quest done. Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. Very nice. Uh, gonna see if I can knock out one, maybe two more quests today. Oh, and another cook's quest. Uh, the first part of RFD does unlock this bank chest. Uh, the only thing is I, I didn't watch the cutscene yet. <laughs> And now Evil Dave is free to return to his basement. And there it is. Last quest of day three. Evil Dave's big day out. Giant XP drops coming in. Bam. 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 And bam. Yeah. I I don't even know how many levels that was. That's 24. Yeah. Very sick. And I finally decided to do it. Start of day four. Grind it up to 33 rune crafting so I could get to the middle floor. Rune sphere spawned right after I ticked over. So I'm going to be able to finally claim this giant chunk of XP and get straight to like level 42, 43, 44, somewhere in that range. Uh, yeah, going to really try to start doing this daily. Oh yeah, here comes the juicy hand in. Bam, 25k. Nice little six level jump right there. Feels good. First quest of the day done, Ghosts Ahoy. We are really burning through quests today, almost as if we're making history. Look, I'm sorry, I had to, okay? And there is a meeting history complete with a tome quest reward that I totally forgot to include in my guide. I'm just going to pump it into Herblore because... You're not really going to regret putting it into Herblore. Uh, but there are many other different options. Uh, it may be something that I actually refactored the guide a little bit to take into account. But, yeah, I mean, Herblore is good enough. It's just 2,500 XP, right? There's Once Upon a Slime Done. That's a very odd quest that I may, uh, I may uh, want to place higher in the quest order. Um, simply because 2500 cooking XP with zero requirements is actually quite strong. Yeah. 
another quest down, the Tale of the Muspa, and I'm going to head up here and get the lamp from the Natural Historian. Master quest cape requirement, by the way. And here we are knocking out two more parts of RFD. There's the Dwarf Freed, and then we have the Goblin Generals getting freed. You know, I, I really don't want to get into it, but like 70 or 80 pieces of ham outfit garbage sitting around on the ground later, I finally found the second hood. Oh my word. <laughs> I started out doing pickpocketing and then moved over to actually killing them. Uh, I think I've actually been here for about 45 minutes, just for reference. And there we are, death to the Dorgishan complete. Let's use these lamps, and this one goes into ranged. And there is a large chunk of XP coming in with the feud complete. Uh, yeah, 15,000 thieving equivalent to six levels. I cooked the chompy in the big chompy bird hunt. Oh, and I hit 900 total there. I, uh, I didn't think that was coming. Garden of Tranquility done for a nice chunk of farming XP. But I, okay, it did manage to get me a level this time around. This is actually one of the highest farming levels I've been uh, completing this quest at, uh, given that POF is really skyrocketing me up there. Uh, now just to wait like four hours for the stupid willow tree to grow for enlightened journey. And there we go, quest complete, the unchickenification of Ernest. And there's the end of Animal Magnetism. Good chunk of XP, though it's it's literally just a Slayer level now. I'm really uh, I'm really getting to those levels, huh? All right, one small favor complete, the classic. And as always, you just throw these ham these lamps into into Herblor. There, there's no other option. They just go there. They belong. Also, the key ring goes on your tool belt. That's a really interesting update that they've added. It's super cool. There are like keys in my bank that were like, add the key ring on tool belt. Uh, the quest done, Spirits of the Elid. For quite a bit of XP, actually. That's two prayer levels, uh, so pretty nice. Um, oh, and that's a bit of a milestone, too. 150 quest points, so I can go claim Vanquish. And here we are, let's claim all rewards, uh, okay, which are just magical die. I may need to double check with May, uh, but let's see what the dice contain. Armadillo robe top, okay, I mean, it, it is T40 ranged armor, which I don't have, but at the same time, I'm about to get vanquished, right? Just, uh, just filling out the clue, the clue log, I guess. Uh, black kite shield trimmed, all right. And uh, what's the last one? Oh, Bob shirt. Uh, that that might be a clue requirement in RS3. I know it is in uh, in old school for sure. Uh, unlocks. There we go. Okay. So, bam. Yeah. And and let's just. Yeah. Okay. This is a little different than I thought it was, but uh, yeah. I mean, I had enough quest points to get all the way there, so. There we go. Vanquish, which is a T-75? Hmm. I thought the tier upgraded alongside you. I... Well, that's awkward. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's fine. Okay, so it is the armor that upgrades alongside you, but not the weapon. Well, I, I guess that's all right. Uh, having a T-75 weapon is good. Uh, but I guess that also means I should go to Mage Arena sometime to, to get my T-50 weapon. Or, or I guess I could just get into the Mage's Guild at some point. Another quest down, like, seven hours after I started it or something insane. Enlightened Journey. And there's another new quest done. Chef's Assistant. Uh, yeah, interesting. Cheesecake, huh? I, I only just noticed that it heals prayer. That's actually... Huh. Odd. Oh, and I didn't notice that was also a little bit of a milestone. A million total XP. Like, yeah. I don't I don't have the trackers going. I need to I need to put those back up. 
been working on a bit of wood cutting and fire making grinding and just happy to say that I can end off day four with a clean 950 total. And start at day five, Carnelian Rising taken care of. Search the chest for, yeah, extra rewards. Pop. Um, I, I don't need those, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Carnelian Lamp, and I believe I wanted to put these into crafting. Um, I'm tempted to put one into thieving, but no, I'll, I'll just go with crafting. It's not that much XP after all. Another one down, Tower of Life for just a little bit of XP. And another one down, Cold War for a good chunk of XP, I guess. Yeah, it's mostly just agility. I think I'm going to stay here and grind out uh, 50 agility as listed in my guide. Another mini quest complete from Tiny Acorns, and I was able to knock out the 50 agility goal that I set for myself at the Penguin course. It only took like an hour and a half or so, uh, not that bad to be honest. And there's 41 thieving, which allows me to start and complete the next mini quest in this chain. And there's the completion of Lost Her Marbles mini quest up to 43 thieving. I do plan to grind this all the way to 50 as my guide uh, lays out one should do. Uh, however, monthly reset is coming up in yeah, in, in just about six hours. So I'm going to go run and do Beneath Curse Tides uh, ahead of time. That way I can uh, go ahead and do the Giant Oyster Monthly. Uh, then I'm going to go knock out all of my God Statues, which I haven't done yet. Uh, and then there's also the Troll Invasion Monthly. Uh, anyway, burn through all of my monthlies, uh, take care of that. And then I actually have quite a few dailies I need to catch, on, uh, catch up on too before reset. And then we're going to keep questing. Well, that is a much faster quest than I remember, but I am not complaining. Uh, had to go grind out 10 summoning before this because combat lamp into a skill over 10, bam, giant chunk of summoning. I mean, yeah, 18 levels. <laughs> uh, then cooking XP, fishing XP, and yeah, we dive back down uh, to do the, the monthly. And with that being the second week I've done Herby Werby, I get a herb bag. Uh, it's just a pretty cool upgrade. Um, actually getting the upgrade for it is also pretty good from what I understand. Uh, and then I'm going to get these these other unlockables down here before I go for the consumables, just because, I mean, that's, that's who I am. And I had a feeling that the first god statue we finish would give us this, uh, but there is a thousand in total. Pretty nice. There we go, another quest down, Troll Stronghold, throw this into Prayer and Prayer. That should get us to 45? Yeah, there we go, 45 for something else. All right, another quest down, Troll Romance, bam, strength level, yeah, give me the, give me the juice. Oh, Quake and Destroy Unlock, both, both good skills, nice. So I just learned about this strategy where if you get right here and then surge, wow, you can just skip straight to the back. That That is fantastic. That is so much nicer than before. Well, there's my uh, <laughs> my two Goutweed acquired. Yeah, so just for reference there, you wait till the northernmost guy, and this is listed out on the wiki, it's, it's not my strategy, but you wait till the northernmost guy gets all the way to the end and turns, you run straight to the end, uh, and then, you know, my little sauce was, you also run another two tiles uh, south, and then surge instantly, and you go straight through all of them. That That's just fantastic. But anyway, there's the end of Edgar's Ruse for 11k Herbalur. Level 51, that, it's kind of nuts. Right, highest skill, 53, Herbalore, 51. Oh, and I learned that this week, because it's D&D &D week, right, uh, as, a, as a result for, like, compensation for all the people that got locked out of accounts, not only have all my daily challenges been extended, which is nice, I mean, it, it's a little helpful, um, but importantly, Vizwax has also doubled this week, uh, which, is, which is actually pretty strong. Um, I just got 50 RC today, actually, when I went and did my rune sphere. So I'm going to go get some Vizwax, at least for the next few days while this is uh, available. Um, mainly just use it on, on faster teleports, probably. Uh, but I may save some for, for re-rolling challenges later, steaming challenges and whatnot.
All right. I don't think I'm going to show this every day, but my first day I was able to get a hundred or uh, 86 plus 86 Visuax. So that's 192. Uh, I used a hundred here and I have or 172, my bad. Uh, I was able to keep 72 and I used a thousand here on quick charges just to, uh, yeah, just to speed things up, you know, five, 10 seconds at a time. So I finally came up to the spot in my guide where it says get 42 Slayer. And I thought, well, I guess it's time to finally go get Tuska's Wrath. Um, yeah, I, I'm falling asleep right now. <laughs> but I, uh, I finally have it unlocked. Uh, oh, I, I can't use it till, till 50 HP. Well, uh, at least it's unlocked, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's kind of wild. Um, doing a Grotworms task, kind of just to speed through it, because uh, I can't really kill the next tier of these, and yeah, not really going to get much XP from it. Mimic kill token? Those are quite rare, aren't they? <laughs> uh, all right. I, I might do that at some point. So I just completed my ninth Slayer task, and I'm going to stop short of the level 42 goal that is outlined in my guide, because I have all of the other levels required. I actually listed out 40 ranged and 40 strength. I went 41 and 45, actually. It's it a pretty good jump on my uh, ranged level there. And I realized I'll get this over time with Scarabs anyway. The 42 requirement is for Rum Deal, and I'm not doing that quest anytime soon. Uh, at least not in the next, like, 20 or so. Um, so I don't, I don't really have to worry about that level just yet. Um, now I think I'm going to jump the gun a little bit, because I, I just feel like doing some Hunter right now. It's not really lossless. There's nothing else that's going to be giving me Hunter XP. So I'm just going to go grind Hunter to, like, 50 or something. Never mind. I, I just realized it's, like, after midnight. So maybe not 50 today, but <laughs> going to get some Hunter levels regardless. Well, I did a fair bit of Hunter last night, but I ended up just hitting the 1100 total milestone uh, doing a div cache this morning. I knew I was one level off whenever I went to sleep last night, but it was like it's like 2 a.m. Or, or later. So, yeah, I just wanted to hit the sack. Uh, going to keep doing some more Hunter and then I think just, uh, you know, work on some quests today. So I came and did my Nimi Forest, but something very important to know about Nimi Forest. One is actually use the subreddit r slash Nimi Forest. They make maps for every single day. This amazing person hosts. Um, it's, it's awesome. Something else good to know, though, is that you can go in uh, just a few minutes before reset, run around and do it, log out, log back in. It'll throw you out back here. And if, you know, you log back in after reset, you're good. Your reset, you can just run it again, uh, or you can just wait outside like I am doing some fletching. Also, yeah, I did a lot of fletching, a lot of headless arrows made, uh, just you know, chopping willows, um, basically setting my skills up for, for different uh, different breakpoints, different quest requirements. Um, yeah, and I think I might start training some archaeology later tonight. Uh, really attack that skill. Some of the stuff that you unlock in the fifties and sixties. Before you need a, a dragon matic, before you have to do, you know, big game hunter to really train efficiently, uh, efficiently some of those relics uh, seem really strong, so I'm going to try to get some of those unlocked. Oh, and to note, if you haven't done your Nimi, say you run in right now, 23, 59, just a minute before reset, you're fine, uh, as long as you don't log out and don't hop worlds, so... You know, worst case, hey, you're running late, you know, you're running out of time, you're not going to make it there on time, at least hop to the right world first that's listed on the subreddit. Then you can just run in, run your Nimi, you know, log out, and then you get to run two Nimis back to back. It takes five or ten minutes. Good XP. And there is the completion of Underground Pass. Really happy with that, actually. It only took me about 35 minutes to complete, which is a pretty good time. Uh, and I now have... I've been staff, which unlike, you know, old school, you can literally just use it as a normal weapon. You, you don't need to use Ivan's Blast. You don't have to recharge it, I don't think. Uh, you know, just air runes, air blast is all good. Air, yeah, air blast. And another quest down, another slice of ham. All right, yeah. Ivan's Staff enabling this to be a little less difficult also enabling me to get 40 defense, but nature talisman done. So I can go finally take care of fairy tale part one. I think I could just burn straight through part two and part three right after. Uh, I think I have all of the requirements 
Uh, though I, I actually may be missing a few farming levels, but regardless, I'm so glad that I have that now. Uh, now to just maybe maybe grind out one more. Uh, <laughs> I might wait on that, but I'll at least stick through the trip. Uh, getting one more would be good for the uh, for the hood, right? Oh, it's also worth mentioning that I ended up picking all of the pouches up from this as well. So I got everything up to the giant pouch. Come to think of it, this will be probably the first time I've ever fought this guy with like higher than low level farming. And, uh, <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> Man, that, that is kind of nuts compared to the normal, like, occasional hit for, you know, a hundred at level three farming. And there is the quest done. Now, I won't be able to quite finish Fairy Tale Part 2. It does require 57 herb lore, so I am six levels away from that. Um, should be there in just a few days, though. Uh, and I can always start the quest to unlock fairy rings at the very least. And if you're wondering where this easy casket came from, um, I ran into a Agent Penguin in Mort Meyer Swamp, of all places. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just pop it, right? Uh, wow. Wait, is this, is this actually like two, one or two fortunate components? That's, <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Oh, well, never mind. They changed it so that it requires 57 to start the quest. Well, uh, anyway, I'll be there soon enough. Another quest down, Land of the Goblins. Oh, and it's, it's probably important to note, I have been making a lot of changes to my guide. Uh, generally, they're they're pretty small, um, but some of them may have messed up the order to some extent. Like, I had Hope Spears Will, a mini quest, listed immediately after this, because this is when you unlock it. Uh, it gives 13,750 prayer XP, which may get you over a break point for a certain quest uh, in line. Uh, but you can't actually do it until you have the Ring of Visibility, which is something I didn't see. Um, and you can't get there until you have the basic requirements for Desert Treasure and you can, like, get to the Shadow Diamond part. Um, that just requires 53 thieving and then the other requirements to start the quest, which I think there's, like, one more that I'm missing. Maybe it's mining. Um, so actually, you know, you could burn through thieving all the way to get there. Uh, and ideally I will go back and, and like, refactor the guide some. But I think it's worth pointing this kind of stuff out, um, just in case someone is following along. All right, quest done in aid of the Myrek for, yeah, just a few lamps. I swear, these these also weren't lamps in the past, but uh, anyway, I'll use them without complaint. And there is the Darkness of Hallowvale done with a Tome of XP, the first one from the series. Uh, and this one's going into construction. Bam, bam, should get me to, yeah, I guess, I guess just pretty close to 42. Nice. And there is the legendary Dragon Slayer quest done. Bam, strength and big chunk of defense. And another big quest done. Monkey Madness. There we go. I dropped a diamond on the floor. Let me let me just pick that up. And uh, let me go talk to Darrow. And here we're going to put this into attack and defense. I believe. And there we go. 110k. Giant XP chunk. Uh, yeah. 1170 total. Nice. And another quest done quite quickly for 22k strength XP, which is uh, absolutely insane. There's Haunted Mine done. And there's the Temple of Ikov complete for a few levels. Yeah. And there's my last quest for the night, Ichthlorin's Little Helper, ending me off at 184 quest points. And for the first clip of Day 7, there's a tale of two cats done. Open the present and rub these lamps and use these on Herblore, which is like, yeah, it's 5k. That's something. All right. Well, there was a pretty big milestone, the 1200 total level. Uh, I, I was kind of hoping to hit 1250 today. If I don't, that's okay, though, because I am doing a ton of, like, mining and smithing. Did a ton of, like, woodcutting and fletching before. Uh, but, but we'll see if I can still push it out. Okay, and it has been a long day of mining and smithing. Let me introduce you to 60 mining and 61 smithing, plus all of Boric's tasks and the first, like, four or five Doric tasks done. Um, only 1217 total right now. 
going to go do some dungeoneering because dungeoneering grind is the next thing on the list. Uh, however, I am going to make myself an Orc Halcom pickaxe. Go ahead and knock out the next uh, door task because that, that's what I've been doing all day. I may as well keep doing it for now. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can get 1250 still. And I ended up staying up uh, later than I probably should on a Sunday night leading into a work week. But I did get some DG done. I also knocked out um, pretty close to 62 mining. Uh, and I knocked out 62 smithing, actually, because I finished the, uh, the next dork task that I unlocked. Uh, but anyway, this is where I'm ending off. Seven days into the account. This is where we're at. I didn't get 1250, but I'm happy with 1229. But the important thing here, too, is that I have almost 2.8 million overall XP, which is a very significant chunk. Oh, and I did want to note here that I don't think I've mentioned it before, but this isn't necessarily going to be a week-by-week -week series. This is going to be more of a, a free-flow kind of upload when I feel like an episode is done. So next one can be coming out on, like, day 11. Could be day 13. Could be just whenever I get the, the next sort of arbitrary milestone that I'm aiming for. But I wanted the first one to feel a lot like the old series is where I always end, uh, you know, day 7. Um... Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.